Today, we will talk about disintermediation, the process of cutting out the financial intermediary in a transaction. Disintermediation refers to the process of cutting out the financial intermediary in a transaction. It can allow a consumer to buy directly from a wholesaler rather than through a retailer, or a business to order directly from a manufacturer rather than from a distributor. It's often used to cut costs or speed up delivery. This process lowers the overall cost of completing a transaction and allows it to be completed more quickly. For example, a wholesale purchase can allow a buyer to purchase goods directly from the producer, resulting in lower prices because the intermediary, like a retail store, is removed from the purchasing process. While disintermediation can lower costs, it can also increase the burden on the company using the strategy. The company must dedicate more internal resources to cover the services previously handled by an intermediary, and shipping costs can be more expensive without a specialized shipping company's economies of scale. The internet can be a powerful tool for disintermediation, allowing consumers and small businesses to place orders directly with producers. However, new electronic middlemen have emerged, making it difficult for producers to completely cut out intermediaries. While some products have been able to skip at least one intermediary, like electronic manufacturers selling directly to consumers via their websites, online intermediaries such as Amazon and Etsy have become necessary for many producers. Specific internet giants have taken on disintermediation in niches, like Google's AdSense platform transforming the marketing and advertising industry. However, online marketing specialists have emerged to manage the message for businesses eager to outsource the work, known as reintermediation. Decentralized cryptocurrencies rely on blockchain technology, allowing users to transact on a peer-to-peer -peer basis directly with each other, without needing a bank or a monetary authority to facilitate or validate the transactions. The travel industry has been transformed by disintermediation through the internet, allowing consumers to book hotel rooms, flights, and more directly from providers or through travel sites. However, online travel booking sites like Expedia essentially act as intermediaries, buying hotel bookings in bulk at a discount and reselling them to consumers. Disintermediation occurs whenever a step in the supply chain is eliminated, like when a consumer calls a hotel directly to make a reservation rather than booking through a website or a travel agent. The internet was seen as an ideal platform for disintermediation, but most consumers still go to new intermediaries like Amazon for a broad array of choices, customer service, and fast delivery. Here are five key takeaways. 1. Disintermediation is the process of cutting out one or more middlemen from a transaction, supply chain, or decision-making process. 2. The usual reasons for disintermediation are to reduce costs or increase delivery speed. 3. In financial terms, disintermediation involves the removal of banks, brokers, or other third parties, allowing individuals to transact or invest directly. 4. Cryptocurrencies are disintermediating the financial sector and government from monetary transactions. 5. The process doesn't always work because it requires additional staffing and other resources to replace the services supplied by an intermediary. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.